and there goes a car. All right, here we go. Hey guys, here we go. Today, I love it whenever I do corny, stupid things I think are even dumb. We're gonna roll with it. Today we're working on this little guy. All right, y'all seen him before. This is the poor man's M4, right? And this guy has done actually pretty stinking well, in my opinion. Um, I, if you remember a while back ago, a while back ago, we did the comparison between this guy and the, uh, the M4, the Colt, M4, right? The actual true blue Colt. Um, and we compared them head to head, the same ammo, same conditions as far as we could get. Um, and they both seem to do very, very well. I mean, you're talking minuscule amounts of differences between the both, so much so that at this point, you could pick up either gun and they both operate just about as fine. Um, this guy has ha always had just a very, I don't know if you, it never comes across on camera, but a very smooth action. I don't know, maybe I just got lucky with this upper, um, which if you haven't seen those videos before, this is just a PSA upper, uh, running on running it, running it on an Anderson lower uh, with the PSA kit, all right? So it's all PSA except for the lower itself is an Anderson, and it's been great, fantastic. Um, and if you haven't known before, we cut it down to, what was it, a 14.7 or something, pin and welded the, uh, the flash hider, so this so it is a... 16 or oh, an over 16 inch barrel so we can run it as a carbine uh, or rifle whatever with an actual stock now this has kind of gotten out of my system okay because now i have my colt which i use and it's a perfectly good gun and it is another pin and welded 14.5 right with a with a pin and welded flash hider bring it up to past 16 inches for legal length now I've started to get on this little kick of playing around with the idea of cutting this guy again. Now, if we cut it again, we have to either do the whole paperwork on this guy and make him an SBR, or we can turn it into a pistol. Now, I've told before, and before everybody jumps in here and be like, you can't do that, you can't go from a rifle to a pistol, yada, yada, yada. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. The upper, this thing right here, you can throw this on anything. This is an upper, this is not a gun. So I can cut this down which is what we're going to do, and we're going to put it on a pistol lower, okay? Don't worry, I'm not trying to be shady and not trying to do anything stupid. This uh, this lower is has been made into a rifle, so legally this has to stay a rifle until it gets SBR, then I can turn it into, it wouldn't be a pistol anymore, it'd be an SBR. So this will go on another gun, don't worry, don't freak out, I'm staying within the legal parameters, and we're not manufacturing anything here, don't, 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 don't try to get me on that. Okay, we're not manufacturing. We're transferring this upper from a rifle, right, to a pistol. And with that, part of the whole catalyst of this whole thing is SB Tactical. And I finally can be one of those cool guys that has one of their nice little, ah, there we go. They're uh, retractable stocks. And it's not a stock, sorry, cut that out. <laughs> not a stock, these are braces. Right, they are braces, believe it or not. Well, that thing comes flying out, right? Because you can undo this, put your hand in there, you can adjust it, whatever, how you have, however you need to, to get your hand through there, and uh, and operate this as a brace, and it clamps onto your arm. That's how it's intended to be used. Great company, great idea. We're gonna run with this, and I got this guy from the people over at Delta Team Tactical. They actually had a fantastic good deal. Uh, if you follow me very much on uh, on Instagrams, um, I'm over there and I posted whenever I got this deal, and it was a it was a killer deal. Um, I, I'm also subscribed to Big Daddy Unlimited, and they've had their their braces, same difference, same thing, for about I think it's 102, 101 dollars, and then you got to pay your 10 dollars shipping, which in general that is cheaper than most places, 110 dollars for this kit, which was the with the receiver extension. The uh, the brace, your locking stuff, and your and your buffer. So your whole recoil assembly, this whole thing with your brace for like 110 from Big Daddy Unlimited. But I got something better because in, um, I got to looking at, at 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 Delta Team Tactical. They had this, I believe. I had it written down somewhere. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but it, it was about a hundred dollars, right? And then with them, you'll get free shipping if you order $120 or more. So I only needed to spend $20 more. So you see where this, this, this goes. I spent a little bit more 
and I got a lower parts kit, right? A completed lower parts kit. This is a CAC, oops, a CAC lower parts kit. Um, so all your lower parts and your pistol grip, uh, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the goodies that you need for it, which brought the order past 120. Y'all don't care about this, but it brought it past 120 to where basically to get exactly what I got from Delta Team Tactical, it would have cost me, I think it was about $10, five, $10 more over on Big Daddy Unlimited. And so for once in my life, I actually found a better deal on there and I was able to get it from Delta Team Tactical. So, and it showed up today and I was like, well, I got some time. We're going to go ahead and put this on. So what we're going to do, <sighs> finally, we're going to cut this guy down to, to 12 and a half. Okay. I, I do follow uh, Garand Thumb and I thought about cutting this guy down. Well, backing up, I do follow Garand Thumb and, and he does su suggest for a, for a non-suppressed AR to be 12 and a half. He really likes that. For a suppressed one, 11 and a half is really good. I've got plenty of 10 and a half or 10.3s or whatever. Um, my, my Mark 18s, they run great. They're jewels. I love those things. Okay. Um, but I thought about cutting this down to like a 14 and then a 13 and a half and then a 13. Uh, that's whatever. That's too much. We're just going to cut it straight down to a 12 and a half. Um, and then we, and then we'll put just a flash hider on it, but at some point I probably will, I'm sure I will put some kind of attachment so I can run it suppressed one way or the other, but that's, this guy's going to be. And then I don't know what y'all want to see on here. This is going to go away more than likely, um, because this is going to go away more than likely and it's going to be a low profile and I'm playing with a couple ideas in my head. Um, this is not any kind of clone anything anymore, not even an inspired clone at this point especially when, once I cut it down to 12 and a half, but we're gonna cut this down. And then the, the rail, I'm playing around in my mind of what I would wanna see. If there's anything particular y'all would wanna see, I might I might humor you and put something on here um, cause I'm not 100% sold in my mind of what I wanna make this into. I've got my ideas, but if, you're, if there's something you've been dying to see done on a 12 and a half inch on the budget end of things, I'm not spending a bunch of money, but on the budget end of things, let me know. All right, enough yik yakking, let's get to it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain what we're gonna do and then I'll speed it up and show you because y'all don't wanna, you know, if, if you wanna see all that stuff, if you wanna see a barrel cutting, let me know and I can give you a detailed one, but I've already done one before, so I don't wanna bore y'all again. But basically what we're gonna do is we're, we're going to do, I can't speak right now, we're going to use the hacksaw. When we back up, first you gotta measure the barrel, okay? To do that, you stick a dowel or something down the barrel with the bolt in it, right? Because you measure off the bolt face. Make sure that's pushed all the way forward. You don't want to get messed up with that being halfway in there like that. Make sure it's pushed all the way forward. Measure from the bolt face. Measure your length. Mark it wherever you need to mark it for the length that you want. Then I'm going to put this in the vise, in a vise, or in the reaction rod at this point. Um, I'll cut it with a hacksaw. We will trim it with the trimmer, uh, with the enol trimmer, I believe is what it is, uh, to, to cut the area for the threads. Then we will cut the threads. Then we will clean it up. We will... Uh, chamfer, it's not chamfer. Um, you'll crown the barrel, and then you'll put a little bit of black, black, blacking. I can't, I can't talk today. Good grief! But we'll put a little bit of blacking on the threads and everything to clean it up so it doesn't rust up, and then we're done. So it should really be a pretty simple 20-minute process, but we'll see. It probably end up being like an hour. So here we go. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That took an hour and a half. Simple 20-minute job. Took an hour and a half, but that's okay. That's how things roll around here. And we already took off our uh, forward grip before everybody freaks out. And here we go. Hopefully everything pins together. Hopefully we didn't forget any parts. Yeah, that's still pretty smooth. You can hear that raspiness down here, the dry uh, buffer and all that. But that is a 12 and a half inch. I've been wanting to do this for a while. It's more, almost a 12 and three quarter, but it's 12 and a half inch for all intents and purposes. Pistol, AR pistol, okay? Not in any other weapon, not a firearm, that's a pistol. So, I'm excited about that. And this is a full PSA build. Palmetto State lower as well. So this is a full, well, nah, I can't say that now. <laughs> the upper is the same, uh, but the lower parts kit, well now it's kind of all discombobulated. Yeah, fire control is that CAC. I'll let you know how that goes. The safety is very positive. Sometimes you have safeties that are not. The safety is very positive. Um, 
and the trigger was a little hard to get uh, put in, but it feels fine. It feels fine. Just a mil spec trigger. Bert, uh, A2 flash hider on the front, and that's that. That's that, folks. Next thing to do, we'll be able to get this guy out and go shoot it, and then we'll decide what we want to do with this front part. I think I know what I want to do. Let me know down below if, if you have any suggestions, but I'm, I probably already made my mind up, but I, I have some leeway. I, ha I have some decision-making I have to do on that. Anyway, y'all be good to be safe. I appreciate y'all watching. That is the SB3A uh, pistol brace by SB Tactical and sold by the people wherever that sticker went at um, uh, Delta Team Tactical. Good folks. Seems like good folks. All right. Y'all be good to be safe. Take care. We'll catch you on the next video.